Gary, and it's going to be around for the morning rush. Now, the heaviest stuff was you know, in the early morning hours, kind of right as it rolled in, but I would expect rain for the next couple of hours. Okay. So let's take a look at the radar right now. You can see the steady showers basically splitting Cincinnati in half right along the 75 corridor areas to the east, steady rain areas off to the west dealing with scattered showers. So you know it's 517 in the morning as we get through about 8 a.m. All the steady stuff should be moving out, but a straggler shower or two probably possible for us through around 10 a.m. Let's check out what's going on right now on the radar. So as we zoom on in into the 275 loop, you can see it really is kind of a east side, west side situation. East side seeing some steadier showers. Well, downpour there near Blue Ash and Kenwood, and then more showers south of the river in through areas like the uh, areas near CVG. Uh, once you go to the east of I-75, specifically into portions of Pendleton and Bracken counties, these are some of our heavier downpours, and the way these are moving, they're kind of drifting into portions of Brown County. So you can see rain picking up from Georgetown, then right up Route 68 in toward Mount Orb. Steady rain showers across Warren County. You can see steady stuff still right along areas near Mason and up toward Lebanon, and this is slowly going to be drifting to the north and east. Uh, Butler County seeing a few more breaks, but you can even see over toward Oxford rain starting to move right back in again, and we've got a couple of clusters of downpours on the state line. Harrison and areas near Oxford and Brookville still dealing with some rain, so that's why I say, you know, it's going to be 8 o'clock. The steady rain is over, but probably 10 o'clock before little pockets of showers are done with us. If you take a look to the south here, utilizing the Louisville radar site, all of this kind of still drifting in our direction over the next couple of hours. So to take you hour by hour through this future cast, let's take a look at uh, now through about 8 a.m. So currently rain fairly widespread, especially to the east. As we get towards 7 and 8 a.m., it's kind of focused across areas east of Route 68. And after the 8 o'clock hour, a couple of spotty showers possible through maybe 10 o'clock or so. And I think the clouds linger through lunchtime, but the afternoon should bring some brighter skies. And temperatures today will eventually make it into the 70s. So right now, rain, 8 a.m., some scattered showers still. But after that point, things are drying out, and we should be in the mid-70s into the afternoon. Taking a peek at the pig this weekend, it does look rainy for Friday. So if you're headed down to the expo to pick up your packet or running in the 50 West Mile, that's our wet day could be a couple of sprinkles Saturday and dry and very warm on Sunday is kind of the headline for this year's flying pig full in half 74 today low 80s the next two days some rain showers on Friday and then as we get into Sunday we start out at 61 degrees in the morning quickly warming through the 70s depending on how long you're out there on the roads running or walking. All right, speaking of driving this morning, Katie, do you have any slowdowns? No slowdowns right now, which is a good thing, but roads are certainly wet here. It's the 7175 at Turfway. We have a semi pulled off here on the shoulder, uh, but you can see traffic in the